Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Asa and today I'm going to teach you how to do gel nipi. Now, I know this is a different setting because I'm in my bathroom and because I needed a wash basin for this. So, first let's begin with what gel nipi is all about. Now, gel nipi is nasal cleansing. So, the process helps clean your nasal cavity and your sinus cavity and it helps detoxify that area it helps remove all the impurities and you know if you think that there are no impurities in your nose you'd be very surprised after doing your first uh, gel nipi practice it helps clear uh, headaches it helps calm you down detoxifies you it is considered to be anti-aging it is considered to be very calming for the mind it helps you with your concentration as well Yes, yeah, so it's very very beneficial. I do it every morning. It also helps with sleep. So if you guys have a, uh, you know, can't fall asleep or uh, don't have a sound sleep, then you can try this practice at night, and it's really calming and helps you, you know, get into the zone of wanting to sleep. So it's very good for that as well. Now this is the jelly pot. pot. Um, this comes in ceramic, in steel, in different kinds of metals and um, materials. I prefer using this plastic one because once you fill it with water, it kind of becomes heavy and then it's, yeah. I mean, imagine using a steel one and those are bigger as well. So it'll get really heavy with water and then you have to maneuver with it. And Think it'll be very difficult at least for me because I don't like keeping my shoulders or hands up for a very long time so that's why I prefer the plastic one it's also easy to carry so I can just you know slip into my luggage and carry this instead of carrying antibiotics so yeah this one is my go-to product now to do the practice what you need is a basin or you can do it with a mug or a balti or bucket but I like to do it early in the morning after brushing my teeth. I just have my apple cider vinegar and uh, I have made a video on apple cider vinegar. The benefits of apple cider vinegar, it's uh, linked here. And yeah, I, do, I drink that and then I um, get my glass of lukewarm water and I put salt in it and I start with my practice. It takes me like five minutes to complete the whole thing, if not less. Five minutes is also like more than anyway so this is my glass of lukewarm water what I do is I pour it on the back side of my hand to test if it's lukewarm or warmer than what it should be or cool, cooler than what it should be so yeah go with a uh, slightly warm water don't make it like extremely hot or it shouldn't be extremely cold either because that'll um, that will not do anything, it's just that the nerves here are quite sensitive. So yeah, they'll get a little irritated and nothing will happen to you, but it's all, I mean, it's supposed to be a soothing practice, right? Now, apart from that, what you need is salt. You put in one tablespoon of salt. Yeah, that's it. And then you just mix the salt. And then you pour it in your leafy pot. You should always, if you know, if you're filling it up in your kitchen and taking it to your bathroom or whatever, you should always put one finger here because then it won't come out. And the water that you use should uh, be filtered water or um, boil some water and then let it cool down, let it come to lukewarm temperature and then um, use it for uh, journey tea. Uh, people do use tap water, but I don't recommend it because you know tap water can be contaminated It might have some bacteria or some virus and you don't want to put in virus inside your nose The water that you drink that would be perfect and I use regular salt. I don't Now I know in the market you get a lot of fancy journey salt and all that uh, if you guys want to buy it go ahead buy it, but I use regular salt now, what I do is um, I move my feet hip width apart and then I bend from my hip so I don't bend like this I bend like this and then I tilt my head up now I'm gonna look really silly in this video but bear with me and then I'm gonna put this 
snout. You know, there was a lizard in my uh, bathroom today, and I'm very scared of that. You know, the lizard will change everything. So, yeah, you just put it in the nose. So, don't breathe from your nose, breathe from your mouth. So, do that. Put this in your mouth, nose, and then tilt your head more. Lift this hand up and you can see the water is coming out already. Just lift this hand up and, it, and let it come out. Yeah, and just relax. Keep breathing through your uh, bow. Uh, you can above the uh, pot if uh, if you think it's not coming from your nose but you know uh, you can adjust it according to your need and we're done so after that just blow your nose out and then you just fill the pot again and do the other side again so once you've done that what you need to do is you need to bend down like this and you try and uh, try and touch your toes with your hands and then tilt your head on both the sides I mean tilt on one side and then blow out your nose four times and then tilt on the other side and blow out your nose four times so that if there's any water in your nasal cavity or uh, there are a lot of cavities here so it, it'll just come out now, when you blow out, it is very important that you don't go psh, I mean, with your nose. You have to go psh, 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 psh. So, like. That's because if you blow out very strongly, your ears will get hurt because your ENT is connected. So, you get some pain in your ear and you want to avoid that. So, just blow out gently. Okay, don't force yourself. And in the end, just put your hand like this and breathe out. So you can feel if there is any water left and you can feel it on your hand. And that's about it. That's how you do the practice. And now I'm going to tell you about the different herbs or spices that you can use. I mean, not spices, just herbs. So yeah, you can use uh, sea salt or Himalayan salt, which I think is rock salt. So you can use all that. That will also be very beneficial for the uh, practice. And if you feel that there's a lot of congestion, then uh, you can use half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric or haldi and then put your salt, one teaspoon of salt and do the practice with that. You will, you will feel like haldi is getting stuck and everything. You just need to blow it out. And uh, yeah, it will really melt the mucus and congestion away and you'll see a difference very soon you, if you do this practice for two three days at that time when you have congestion and yeah your cold or cough will be sorted and one more thing sometimes you feel that the water is coming from your throat so don't worry about that it's all connected that's why it's coming up from your throat the only thing you need to do is is to tilt your head and try and get a better angle also you can use ginger if you have a lot of infection uh, what you can do is cut a tiny piece of ginger like really small and then boil um, four glasses of water with it and then you condense the water to one or one glass then let it cool down and then use uh, that with this also when you feel that your nose is getting very dry because of the AC or cold weather you can use a little bit of gingerly oil put a uh, half a teaspoon of that oil or sesame oil and yeah that'll help irrigate and uh, moisturize your nasal cavity also if you have inflammation or again a lot of congestion and cough and cold you can try cinnamon so uh, t again take half teaspoon of cinnamon and add it to the salt water and then do jalebi with that and these herbs or spices might uh, sting a little 
but that's just normal don't worry about it and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you have any other questions about jalnithi i would uh, definitely answer them in the comment box below or make another video depending on whatever the question is and yeah uh, i'll see you next time and until then bye bye